Okay, shalom, shalom. Kum ya shalom. Kuhulim la yahawo. Bahashim ya washai, bahashim rakako dash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Yahchanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Okay, I um, mean, it's another judgment, man. It says, Mother deleted after trying to de escalate argument that led to double shooting. Mm -hmm. Out of here. These monstrous ass young men, or these effeminate young men. That you you single moms are raising, man, is 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 terrorizing the world. But hey, the scripture says that um, the Lord would do a new thing in the earth. That uh, that um, roughly paraphrasing that a a woman would compass a man. So y'all in charge, y'all y'all running the households, y'all raising these boys. You know, y'all saying that y'all can do it all by yourself. You know what I'm saying? So let's get a little bit of this. Because the story is a little interesting. It says a mother was uh, deleted and her 16-year-old son was critically injured after a shooting in Detroit Wednesday evening. And what police say was an argument that went too far. Mother kills after trying to de-escalate argument that led to the double shooting. It appears around 8.10 p.m. Uh, Tasneen Sharad, 42, was shot and deleted while trying to protect her 16-year-old son who was also shot and remains in critical condition. So his ass might be out there too. All right? So let's get a scripture on that real quick. We're just going just gonna to flow with the spirit, man. Let's go and see who, who's who's doing the actual killing, though. Because a lot of people don't know this. Because you got a, a lady pastor, which I think is the cousin that done it. She done the eulogy of, a, of, of the, the, uh, the other brother. A year or so ago that was knocked off and deleted so this is a you know these single parent homes man with, with these mothers I can do it all by myself yep prideful prideful as hell Deuteronomy 32 and 39 see now that I even I am he and there is no God with me I kill and I make alive I wound and I heal neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand Right, so the Lord is the one that kills and makes alive, He wounds and He heals. So, if this guy wake up, he's in critical condition, he's gonna wake up to the bad news of his mama being gone, or the Lord might take his ass on out of here while he's laying there in that bed. All right, let's get another precept First Samuel chapter 2, verse 6 Yahweh killeth and maketh alive, he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Can't get around that, man. Let's get one more just to just solidify it. Because you got these Christians that, that, that you know, they be talking that shit about the Lord loves everything and loves everybody. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. See? One more. Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? And this is the reason why we, you know, we, we go out on the highways and byways. We we try, we, we just do the work, man, and let to let our people know you have to repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. And this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans because you are the Israelites. And the Lord gave us these words. He gave us these scriptures. He gave us these law, statutes, and commandments to live by. And because we don't, we're through. Because other than that, the Lord said he placed life and death um, before you. If you're going against what he said, that, yeah, you hate. Matter of fact, the scripture talks about how you, you love death. Our people love death. That's why they listen to all this stupid ass rap music. Deathly ass rap songs. You know? These, you know? Their favorite movie is some dumb ass gangster movie. Anyway, Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord Yahweh and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. 
So the Lord will heal abundantly pardon if you come um, you come into him straight, straightforward with with a sincere heart of repentance, man, being sorrowful. Because our people, our people are, the, are are some of the 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 most arrogant fucking people ever, man. They they think that they've never done nothing wrong. I, what did I do? You got this this whole nation of fucking people that's just with no accountability. What well, I, well, I didn't do anything. It's rare that they'll admit that they'll that you'll come across a person these days that will admit that they was wrong. All right, I was wrong. I you know I I fucked up, you know. But anyway, um, let's go back to the article. Cause I think this is the cousin right here that's sitting here. Um, she says I didn't think yesterday I was going. This I I didn't think yesterday was going to be my last day ever talking to her. Yeah, nobody expects that. That's why when the Lord is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God because he falls upon you suddenly. It says, um, Stacy Sherrod, Tasneen Sherrod's cousin, is one of the worst days of my life. Detroit police said the shooter fled. The location is still being sought. It's just one of those things that doesn't make sense. You got two people over here, associates, hanging out. All of a sudden, they get in an argument. It escalates. We got two people shot, and it's just ridiculous, police officials said, right? And it's not the first time tragedy has struck the family. See? In January 2022, Sherrod's 15-year-old son, Robert Harris, was shot and killed at the gas station on Detroit's east side. So, okay, so we got to... So, so, obviously, there's a cycle of a problem here. All right? It says at the time, the grieving mother told reporters that Robert was killed trying to protect his younger brother, who was 14. Police said the 2022 shooting stemmed from an argument on what? Social media. Yeah, man. What the scriptures say? Uh, the power of death and life are in the tongue. Even, even typing some shit out. Uh, let's see. Spelled that wrong. Yep, Proverbs 18 and 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. There you go, man. Even typing some shit. People look at them, they 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 see them words in that goddamn text. And they they take it just just as if you're standing before them talking. A lot of people been knocked off, you know what I'm saying, with that social media shit. Motherfuckers getting knocked off live on social media. They pulling up live. Show you how stupid Jake is. All, all the, all the, the, the evidence is right there on you, buddy. These police don't have to do no real work these days. All they got to do is go to your social media account. That's it. Okay. Let's get um a couple on on being slow to anger, because the scripture says you know to be angry but sin not. And you're supposed to be able to talk amongst each other as men. That's why um these these young men they need fathers in the home. But what did this so-called white man do? He fooled you so-called black women into thinking that food stamps was better. Section 8 housing was better. He took your, your, your strength out of the home. The man. Now they're being raised. They, all they seeing is you. In a fucking mirror all day. Taking selfies all day. Fussing. Talking shit. When they pick up your effeminate ass traits, what do you think children, hey, children learn, man, as they're growing up? If they're only seeing you, then what do you think they're going to act like? You, emotional as fuck, can't handle um, a conversation, you know? So, I had a situation last night where I had to catch myself. <laughs> you know, you, you know, the scripture says, be angry, but sin not. You have to just, okay, well, all right, well, let me just back away and I'll take the L. I'll just, you know, fuck it. The Lord know what's popping. Proverbs 16 and 32. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city. And that's that's one thing about our people. They, they don't know how to rule their spirit. They're carnal. That's why the scriptures is so real. That's why the scriptures is the beauty. You know, um, the Lord's word is, is beautiful, man. Because it, it, it gives you life. It teaches you how to move about in this place. Because this is a very dangerous place. 
And, and the Lord set it up that way. The Lord set it up that way, man. He set it up to the point where you listen to me, you're going to be good. If you don't, your ass is going to, you know, you're going you're gonna to get the business, man. Proverbs 15 and 18. A wrathful man stirreth up strife, but he that is slow to anger appeases strife. That's why you got to just be slow to anger, man. You know, don't let everything rile you up. Don't let don't let people, you know, and you know what bothers people is when you don't. When when they can't when they can't push your buttons, like damn, why this motherfucker not fussing with me? Why you not mad at me? You know, why, why, why he's not arguing back? You just give them that, okay, you got it. And you leave it alone. Especially with women, they hate that shit. She wants to argue. She wants to, you know, the shit to persist. All you gotta do is just shut it down. You can shut it down by just saying, hey, I'm done with it. And don't say nothing else. And be serious about it. You got to really just do that. Um, and there's a few more of these scriptures on um, being um, slow to anger. But the scripture does say, hey, be, you know, be, be angry but sin not. Yes, shit going to piss you off. But you don't want to commit no sins, man, through that. Because it can get you in a lot of trouble. Because there's a lot of people sitting in jail. There's a lot of people in graveyards, man. From just not keeping, you know, just keeping their they spirit intact. Don't let nobody, don't let everybody be able to just rile you up, man. Don't let, don't, 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 don't fall for that. Now, also, because I wanted to see, because they do got the, um, the woman preacher in here, which is the cousin. I think she was, or auntie or something that, that preached at this other guy's eulogy. Let me see. It says it's unclear what Wednesday night's argument was about that resulted in Shiraz trying to de-escalate the situation and get her son, now 16, back in the house. My fam See, you don't ever hear about no dad. You don't hear about no uncles. You know? You don't hear about no... Not on, on neither, neither side of the family. That's crazy. You don't hear about no, no, no older guy, cut somebody. Says my family we're hurting right now because we had a great loss, but as a community we're losing people and people are giving up hope. Oh yeah, oh that's a wrap. That's the scripture that it talks about um um uh Matthew twenty four and twelve where the Lord said one of the things the Lord told the disciples that would be happening in the end days because they asked him Lord what's going to be happening before you come and one of the things he mentioned was because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold people got a cold but cold-blooded these days man that's second timothy um three where it talks about in the last days shall, there shall be perilous times it speaks about unnatural affection and people being fierce so you got to watch yourself man people stress people people don't know where their next is coming from and they and, they, and, and not having this truth man it, it's really they don't know what to do that shit is chaotic bro i, I wouldn't want to go back to that shit for nothing bro I'm praying to Yahweh. That's why we pray. Psalms 51. You know, where, where, where our King David, he was like, hey, please, Yahweh, don't take away your Holy Spirit from me. I pray that every day, a few times a day. Pray that the Lord don't take away his Holy Spirit from you, man. Because if he do, you can be right back out here. And and because and, and, I mean, being in this truth and looking at this the, the shit around you and knowing that that's what you used to be into, man, you should be thanking the Lord, man. But here's the, 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 the woman pastor right here, right? It says, um, this is what she, she said. Well, she was the one that was saying this. My family were hurting right now because we had a great loss. But as a community, we're losing people and people are giving up, said Pastor Tanisha Hayes. How the fuck you a pastor? What the scripture says, I suffer not a woman to teach. Let's get that real quick. Yeah, you about to do another funeral, I guess, right? Possibly two more. All out of order. And I'm sure she didn't came across this scripture before. Somebody done mentioned it. But hey, our women, they 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 you know they, they don't have no real true love for these scriptures, man. They don't have no real true love for the Lord, because if they did, they would be obedient as best they can. First Timothy two and eleven, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor nor to the, usurp authority over the man. But to be in silence. She's up in the pulpit talking about she's a pastor doing um, 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 preaching funerals and shit. Anyway. So let's go back up. So she says, um, 
Tanisha Hay, uh, Pastor Tanisha Hayes, also a cousin who who eulogized Shiraz's 15 year old son at his funeral funeral two years ago. Hayes said too often people, including teenagers, are resolving their disputes with guns instead of de-escalating the situation. Now that they can't de-escalate the situation because the Lord don't want them to. Man's goings of you. How about Shimei Awashai? Man's goings of the Lord, man. The Lord set that whole situation up. It says, um, I, I feel we have to be re-loved, re-educated about how to de-escalate from our anger when our anger has been our prominent emotion about everything, she said. No, it's, it's you so-called black women that's emotional like that, and you're raising emotional as young men. They get that from what they say. You get it from me. I get it from my mama. That's where that shit coming from. I understand you're angry, but don't kill anyone because you're angry. You don't have to. You could really just walk away. Yeah, they could, but Jake don't have that in them, man. They're emotional as hell. Look at these dudes, man. I'm talking about effeminate as fuck, man. Some of the biggest, burliest motherfucker got muscle on top of muscles, and he acting like a goddamn chick, man. Anyway. I'm going to end out there, man. I didn't want to keep it long. I'm just looking like, hey, more judgment. More judgment. And it's more and more stories. That, uh, th th these stories go on every day. As soon as you wake up, your, your news break app is just flooded with, 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 with what happened overnight. And it's judgment. And especially on our people. And our people are getting worse and worse and worse every day. And there's no coming back from it. That's why um you got um the, 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 the so-called IUIC hooking up with the, the nation of islam to try and help the black community man please you're not about to help these people man the lord said don't even pray for them because the lord got the lord is the one that's, that's handling that business man you're gonna you're gonna try and stop the lord from handling what he want done you're a fool man you might as well leave that shit alone you know don't don't get in the way of the lord's punishment man as a matter of fact there's a scripture that talks about now i know this is her son let me get one more See, sometimes you got to just know when to give up, man. She should have kept her ass in the house. If he wasn't listening, she should have kept her ass in the house, man. Or if she felt like it was going to escalate to a point of, she could have just called the police or whatever. But I get it. It's your son. You know, you, but see, these people, they be, you got these parents, man. They be out here fighting with their kids. It's like this one lady, she took her two daughters to go and um, scrap, do, you know, to scrap with some, some, somebody else. And her two daughters ended up getting deleted. And she just drove away. She left the asses there. The shit got that that serious. This is Proverbs 26 and 17. He that passeth by and meddleth with strife belonging not to him is like one that take up the dog by the ears. And I always thought this scripture was, was cold, man. Because can you imagine being out and about and you see this big ass pit bull running the street, roaming the street, and you just run up and you trying to pet him. You don't know what he'll do to you. But like I said, again, we know this is her son. So, of course, you know, she's going to try and, you know. But if you, you got to know your kids, man. You, you Don't tell me you don't know these niggas is wild. One of them just got you. You know, you done lost two sons. In, uh, you done already. I mean, you know. It's all it's gunplay around you like this all the time. One son gets killed in gunplay. He, who is he associating with as a 16-year-old that's got a gun? That's ready to smoke your ass as soon as he, 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 he you know, a, a disagreement go down. Why is he around people like that? Because see, an old man, look, the old dude, and like, and like my old man, you know, he, he's not into this truth. He's carnal than a motherfucker. But, hey, he got a lot of earthly wisdom. I'll put it that way. My old dude, man, hey, he, he's not dealing like that. He tell you straight up, hey, look, that nigga's no good. <laughs> you know, he got, he just got that sense for. I mean, I mean, just as a man, just as a, as a man in general, you can see, especially being protective over your children. A lot of men are. It's just that we're, you know, Esau, the so-called white man, he done pushed us out of them homes, man. But protect, you know, we're very protective of the children. And so we can see a knucklehead from a mile away. Like, nah, son, that, that nigga right there, man. 
He'll leave you if anything were to really go down. No, nah, son, that nigga gonna get you in a lot of trouble. This nigga pull up, he banging motherfucking music. He ain't got sense enough or respect enough to turn his shit now when he pull up to, to swoop you up. He's blowing a blunt out the window. He talking to your parents and shit like that, like y'all best friends. You know? Don't care how he speaks around them. You know? And your parents seeing this shit and they like, look, don't, don't hang around them. Don't, don't. And she probably told him. She probably told him. But if she told him and, and, and he's doing shit like that, then what can you say, man? You know, because hey, 16, man, you pretty much, are, you know, these niggas is grown ups, man. They just effeminate and they, they you know, you, you just got a lot of grown ass kids here. Even niggas in there, I see niggas all the time, 40s, 50s, 60s. Don't want to grow the fuck up. Still want to just be 13, 14, my, my, my day. You know, don't want to give up the ghost, man. You see them all the time. They throw out all the, 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 the American cities. Nigga never want to get old, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can't settle in. Anyway, I'm going to end off there, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying. But, hey, more and more of this is going to happen. She's out of here. He probably don't even know yet. If he's in critical, he probably don't even know his mom is out of here. He's going to wake the fuck up, and, and, and he's going to be double hurt. Anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashua, all on the Bible, boy.